Samsung Galaxy Note 8 versus Galaxy S9 speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three, two, one. Let's see which one could get there first. Now on paper, the S9 should be quicker. It does have a Snapdragon 845 versus the 835 in the Note 8. And it does have six gigabytes of RAM. It looks like the Note 8 has the jump here on the Samsung logo, but which one will actually take it to the home screen first? Both of these devices are unlocked, so it should be quite fair. And you can see the S9 Plus is ahead of the Note 8 by quite a bit there. So nice stuff there for the S9 Plus. Okay, so for this next test, let's go ahead and test the fingerprint scanner. Now you can see that these cameras are basically just flipped from horizontal to vertical and they have similar fingerprint, but let's see which one is actually quicker. Three, two, and one. And you could see that looked like the Note 8. Let's do that one more time. Three, two, and one. And the Note 8 missed. So maybe the S9 is a little bit more accurate. Three, two, one. And you see the S9 there, and one more time, three, two, and one. So actually it's the S9 Plus that has a faster fingerprint. Now on the S9 Plus, you might think that you're gonna smudge the camera. That's actually why there's this little gap in between the camera and the fingerprint. You actually won't smudge the camera too much on this device. So fingerprint speed, I would say it's the S9 Plus here. All right, so we arrived at the application portion of the speed test. You can see all the applications are closed out on both. Both are set to 0.5X animations because they're both Samsung devices, so why not? Let's go into Instagram. You can see that's a slight win to neither. It's actually about a tie. Scrolling through the content, flipping through some menus here. Looks like the S9 Plus, no, about the same. So very equal here when it comes to the performance. Going to the search field. You can see both are loading it at about the same time. So no issues there, Samsung Health. That is going to go to the Note 8. Let's go into calculator. It's about the same. Let's go into settings. That's the S9 Plus. Let's go into calendar. That's the, I don't know that one. You let me know calendar down below. Twitter. That's the S9 Plus. WhatsApp. That was the S9 Plus slightly. Snapchat. Slightly to the S9 Plus. Let's go into YouTube. YouTube's first on the S9 Plus. Flipping through some menus. Note 8. S9 Plus. Activity tab. Subscriptions. About the same. Trending. About the same, so about the same performance so far. Amazon, see Amazon is first for the S9 Plus. Let's go into Chrome. Chrome slightly on the S9 Plus. Lightroom, Lightroom's first for the S9 Plus. Coming home, Netflix. And you can see Netflix opens first on the right. Scrolling down, looks like the scroll was a little faster on the right. Let's go into Jetpack. See which one can open this game first. There goes the S9 Plus rocketing. And let's go into Jetpack again. Well, that was Jetpack. Let's go back into Jet Trigger, excuse me. Dead Trigger. And you can see that is the right there. So let's go ahead and play the game, see which one can load it up first. And it looks like the S9 is in the lead once again. So you're seeing it's barely, it's just like a hair faster. It's just so small. Like really, I'm not paying 800 bucks, are you? to get you know a hair faster and of course i bought it for review but i'm saying like would you want to pay that much more just for a hair faster geekbench and you can see there goes that and you lose your s pen if you go to this device speed test and that is the right so now let's go backwards through them multitasking to see if any of them do reload any of these applications speed test about the same geekbench the same let's go to dead trigger and a little faster there on the s9 Jetpack Joyride, a little faster to reload that on the S9 and Netflix Lightroom. Let's go into Chrome. That was the S9. Let's go into Amazon. S9 again. YouTube. S9 again. Snapchat. S9. WhatsApp. About the same. Twitter. S9. Calendar. About the same. Settings. About the same. And calculator. S9 slightly. Samsung Health. That had to reload on the note. Instagram reload on the note. So the S9 gets the slight win here in the speed test. Let's go ahead and now just quickly run a Geekbench to see how they do perform on the CPU benchmark. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so here we are with the final Geekbench scores. You can see that it's an easy win for the S9 Plus over the Note 8. And you've seen that even in the application test that the S9 Plus did win over the Note 8, but not by much. And you know, you, if you're thinking about upgrading from a Note 8 
to an s9 plus i'm not even sure if that's an upgrade because you're losing some stuff like the s pen you might be upgrading a little bit in processor performance but the 835 was already so fast that it doesn't really make sense to upgrade but you've seen right here that the s9 plus is slightly faster than the note 8 anyway if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me any video suggestions questions comments drop them down below nick here helping you to master your technology i will catch you all in the next episode thank you for watching be sure to be well and peace